Okay, this is Unit 3, <coughs> Lesson 1, and we're looking at, this unit is going to be about solving quadratic equations and showing different techniques of solving them. And solving means when you have a quadratic expression, you make it equal to zero, and you see what values of x will give you zero as your output. So we'll talk about that in a minute. What we've normally studied before are linear equations. So linear is where the highest power of x is 1. So you see 3x minus 2 equals 0 is a linear equation. Or imagine you had something like, uh, let me see, taking up the pen, 2x plus 4 equals 0. That's another linear equation. So you would solve that, and you would end up getting that x equals to minus 2. A quadratic is where you have the highest power of x is 2. Okay, so the form of it is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So that's a quadratic equation. So, for example, if you have 3x squared plus 6x plus 4 equals zero. We just change that plus 4 to a minus 4, just for out of interest. Okay, so your number of x squareds, 3, corresponds to a. 6 corresponds to b, and minus 4 corresponds to c. Okay, so this is a quadratic equation. So there's ways of solving them. So for example, if you look at the one we have here, we have x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. So we want to solve that. We want to find numbers for x, that when you replace them in the equation, it gives you 0 as a solution. So in this case, if you plug 0 in for x, it works out correct. Or sorry, if you plug 2 in for x, x squared plus 3x plus 10, it becomes, instead of x squared, we have 2 squared. Instead of 3x, you have 3 times 2, minus 10, and it's 0. And it works for minus 5. So actually, quadratics generally have two solutions. They may have one, or sometimes even none, but generally two. So if you look at that one, the solutions are x equals 2 and x equals minus 5, and they both satisfy the equation. Okay? But... We want to know, how do we find these answers, though? That's what we're looking for. If I give you a quadratic equation, how do you find the answers? So we're going to look at the different ways that that can be done in this class. So if you look at this one here, consider the equation x squared equals 7. Well, look, <coughs> for this one, x squared equals 7, I'm just going to write it out again here. If you want to solve that equation, what are you doing to x? Well, you're squaring it, okay? Now, remember with an equation, whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. So what's the opposite of squaring? How do you cancel squaring? It's the square root. It's the opposite operation. Okay? So the square root and the squaring cancel each other, and you're left with x equals. Now, it's the square root of 7, but we say plus or minus. Because remember, square roots are the positive and negatives. For example, if you have the square root of 9... Square root of 9 can be 3, or it can also be minus 3. Alright? Let's look at this one. So solve the equation. So look, what are we doing to the x here? We're multiplying it by 2. We're squaring it. We're adding 1. So look, the weakest operation there, we're adding 1. That has to go first. Then the multiplication by 2 has to go. And then the squaring has to go. Okay, they go from the weakest to the strongest operations. So what we're going to get then, if we want to solve that, so we're going to have to subtract 1 from each side. So we're going to get 2x squared equals 14. Then we're going to divide both sides by 2, because multiplication by 2 and division by 2 cancel each other out. So over here we're left with x squared equals 7. And then to finish it off, you take the square root of both sides. So as of the previous question, x equals plus or minus root 7. Okay, the next one. What's with this one here? We have to get the 3x squared on its own. So we're the 2 has to go, so we subtract 2 from each side. Okay, so we're just basically removing everything from around the x. We have to do it in a certain order. Okay, so that's going to leave you with minus 3x squared equals 6. Then divide by 2. Oh, sorry, divide by 3, that should be. 
Let me change that, divide by 3. Okay, so you're left with minus x squared equals, well it should be divided by minus 3 really, but minus x squared equals 2. So if minus x squared is 2, that means that x squared that means that x squared is equal to minus 2. Now if you look at that, when you square a number, it has to be positive. So if you square x and get minus 2, that's impossible. So that means the that x is equal to the square root of minus 2. Impossible. Now let's look at this one. This one's a little bit trickier. So remember we have to reverse all the operations. And think of PEMDAS, something that you learned in probably primary school even, or at least in 6th or 7th grade. So PEMDAS means parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So if you look at, these, at this here, look at the x, we're subtracting 3 and we're squaring it. Okay? So we have to do PEMDAS backwards. Now really we would undo the subtraction first. But what we have to do, we have to see the fact that it's in parentheses preserves it till the end. So, in this case here, what you're going to get, we're going to have to do everything outside of the parentheses first, which means we're going to square root both sides first. So we're going to get the square root of x minus 3 squared equals the square root of 16. Okay? So the square root and the square in cancel, so you're left with x minus 3 equals, well the square root of 16 is plus 4 or minus 4. So then to finish it off you have to add 3. Okay, so x is equal to 7 or x is equal to minus 1. Now you can check if x is 7, plug it in here. 7 minus 3 is 4, 4 squared is 16, or put minus 1 in. Minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4, squared 16. So it works. Okay? No more down here. Last ones. So this is similar to the one we just did. So what's in the parentheses has to be result or has to be sorted out last. So we have to do the squaring, square root of each side first. So we have x plus 2 squared equals 11. So to begin it, the first thing we have to do is square root each side. So you're going to be left with x plus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 11. Now you subtract 2 from each side. And you're going to get x equals minus 2 plus root 11 or minus 2 minus root 11. Okay? So here's practice problems you can do. Page 216 of your textbook. Exercise 9a, questions 1a to e, and questions 2a to e as well.